let's talk about strategies. What would be the strategies we use to um, ensure that African American males are navigating the education system from a very early, from the very early, from K right. through? So let's look at the curriculums. Let's look at how we're training teachers. Let's look at the opportunities um, in after school programs as well as summer enrichment programs. It's all this, to me. It's those steps that you have to take. Um, and their policies will center around making sure that that issue is a part of every conversation. We talk about young people and we very often stop when we say 12th grade. There is a huge population of out of school youth from 16 to 21. They need literacy, they need job training, they need to be engaged and they need to think they can make it. And I think that's another area we have to pay a lot of attention to. If you've lived in Philadelphia for a while, a certain amount of uh, cynicism about public education is tempting to creep in. Uh, but even uh, for all of my own temptation in that area, I, I was really shocked to learn recently that there are public high schools in the city of Philadelphia that are not graduating even one student who is able to read at grade level. Uh, which gets to the issue of, of literacy and preparedness for, uh, for education. I think um, progress has been made in um, magnet schools, new opportunities for charter schools in the city. Uh, are we making as much progress with uh, students that are in high schools that are really uh, failing? Um, I don't know what the answers are either, but it's an urgent issue for the future of the city. I think education is the key. Um, but I think it goes even beyond just on a city level. I mean, we need a, a mayor that's going to deal with the federal government and somehow get more resources. And yes, you, you could do a lot without resources, but um, there's just so much schooling that is failing at this point. I think we need the money. 